Hello again. Let's forget about the world. So I've loaded up Carmsden Farm. Uh, it's actually a week off an entire year since I last loaded up this save. Uh, literally seven days. And the I think the only time I've showed this is when I've streamed it. Um, and I've actually had quite a lot of fun on this save from what I remember, but I don't remember very much. Uh, again, combination of strong medication and it's been just about a year. So press start. I remember this is a very intense map and as I said I've got my graphics set up quite high and I've spent quite a lot of time on this map and I feel like I have a lot of baggage so if it drops a few frames here and there I do apologize. So this is where you start, this is your little house. Uh, yeah like that. The, the, the mower doesn't do anything, it's quite disappointing. Uh, so we just zoom out. It's quite a nice map, actually. It's a, it's, it's a good map. It's, it's, I don't think I'm not. There you go, old faithful. You've seen this. I think you've seen this start on everything I've played so far. It's a cracking tractor, cracking mod. 415 Vario, really, really good mod. Merlot. I've usually always got this one. Uh, my stack didn't go very well, as you can see. Started off nice and then it just didn't go so well. I think it glitched and I had must have had a paddy. Uh, also that stack not 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 so good. It's quite a detailed map this was a uh, sliding doors. Nothing in here. I feel like I used to keep things in these sheds. I've got pallets in that one. Nothing in here. Oh, I have some cows. 100% health. Yay me. Oh, I bailed this field. Little bells as well. That's quite frustrating. I've got to tidy that up. So I've got that one, that one, Merlot. I've got my Unreal John Deere drilling, obviously. An 820 Fen. The Unreal Colossus. Which I must have clearly only just bought. It's not done anything. 14.55. Cool. Might as well set you going again. Came with rolling. Oh, cool. 9.884. Tuned. Might as well get set you going again. And back to the case. So I'm not going to tidy that up. I don't, know, I don't know what you're doing. Unless you have no idea what you're doing. No, it just rolled away. So, let's try and get you back going again. Lower. Turn on. So what field are we in? Field 13, so it's quite a big one. Leave him to it, I mean he'll make a mess of this, because it's getting to the nitty gritty parts. So he looks like he's all done, in fact I may, I've literally just pressure washed this. I'm not going to this one as well to be fair, I might have just leased it. He's just cultivating, that's quite a nice cultivator actually. So where am I? Oh, oh, I remember. I was experimenting with um, mods. So this is a warehouse mod. How do I get in? There must be a door. No, that's the door. Oh, this must be when I was experimenting with um, forklifts and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's all the rackiness and stuff. But I must have sold it for some reason. So if we go to forklifts, have I got it in? Yeah, see, I've got the Reese truck there, which I was rubbish at using. You really do need a steering wheel for this one. And I'm not a, not a young Heinrich um, operator or mechanic. It's not an engine either, it's electric. 
I like driving these trucks. Not a fan of working on them. It is quite cool out, you know, they do go very, very high. You know, that's pretty mad for such a little machine, isn't it? You know, obviously they do go higher than that. You you, you really wouldn't do that outside. Uh, right, just trying to refresh myself. Where So this is where, I'm sure the, yeah, the cell point and stuff's down there, so that must be why. He is here. Where's your trailer? So what stuff do I own then? That's looking owned items. So apparently I don't own any trailers. I've leased things. I don't, don't own any trailers. Helpful. Do I have anything in stock? I found this on a previous video where it would tell me where I keep stuff. Yeah, I've got some wheat. So we could do a run of wheat, because we are rapidly running out of dollar, dollar, dollar. So I do need to borrow uh, an trailer. I do like this one. This is the in-game class. That's a really nice one. But my favourite is that one. Let's spec it up. A five foot, five foot curved. Let's just have it as greedy as we can get it. Six foot grain trailer. Six foot silage trailer. Six foot six grain trailer. Six foot six silage. Slope silage. So, so that's the smallest configuration. 36 meters cubed. Six or six grain trailer. Catwalk. Let's have a ladder. Let's have some mud flaps. Drawbar standard, toolbox standard. Yeah, that'll do. Let's have a bit of leasage. There's a shop. It's just around the corner. And it actually has two cell points. And for some reason, one you get like a pound more a ton than the other, or litre. Now, I've got lost here before, but I'm sure it's this way. You want to sneak in the shop? It's a really tight turn that way. Oh, the restruck is right in front of the trailer. go. Right, now, where is the main farm? I'm trying to find where I am. There I am at the end of the map. Field 9. farm is it's either near field 15 it's either left or right of field 15 where the silo is I'm sure it's field close to field 3 I'm sure it is I could be wrong I'm usually wrong AIC has completed their task I, I very much doubt it I really should learn how to use course play again. I should actually re-watch my own videos. That'll tell me. Even though I wasn't the best. I managed to automate a farm. 
I remember it was semi-successful. It was pretty good. And so yeah, that, that looks that looks like a farm. It is a really good map. This is nice tight turns and everything. Proper proper English little map. So you turn up this little junction. Turn up this little one. Right now, which way is the silos? Uh, let's have a look at the rest of the kit because I'm sure it all needs a wash. Yeah, the bailer definitely does. At least the amount of money that I'm spending has decreased substantially. Right, okay, here we go. Right, start filling wheat. <laughs> confident you can sneak through here. Now that's oh that's it, that's your tipping point. Yeah that yeah that was that was tricky with big trailers. The, I'll take you around the, the cow the cow farm in a bit as well once we've tipped this on got some dollar in. I thought it had more stuff than this, I must have sold it when I had my panic, I've got no no dollar. I've done the most hours on this one. Yeah, 3.2 hours. I'm sure it's just because I spent more time carting than anything. I'm sure this had some nice, uh, nice little tracks as well in it as well to get to certain fields. This is a good trailer. This is. And it's got a tash on the back, or a drawbar even. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. I think. No, nothing. Gutted. Right, so we need to turn left. And left again. I've done that before, I've gone in there and got awkwardly stuck with like a dolly on the back. So you can go in this one. This one is the one that gives you like a pound less. Oh. So if you want to just drive like a hundred feet further, like not a couple hundred feet further on. So that's that one. Right, let's go back to the Merlot. Let's have a walk, because this is like the cow, the cow part of the cow farm. The dairy farm. So if we go here, so we've got at the minute only 6,000 litres of milk in, so that's not too bad. It's a nice, nice little map. It is a really, really nice little map. I'm sure I've mowed this. Yeah, I have. I, I, I mowed this while the cows were in it and got a few bales off it when I was desperate. Let's just have a sec. Yeah, so he's stuck. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So when you go to this field, field 14, you follow this like track from field 12 and it's actually like a really good point. In fact, just because, in fact we'll do it, we'll go from, you're alone, 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 you're alone,
You're on the other side of the map. Right, I'll take the Merlot. Merlot's not slow in it. It'll give you an idea just, you know, how detailed this map is. Forks down. So if you want to get to, uh, yeah, where, where they are. Can't really go wrong as such. Follow this little track because you have to go over the over the river. Is it the river? No, it's the uh, railway line. Is it? I, can't remember. I think it's a railway line. Ooh, about a straw that I need to get there. I think the reason I've got all this big stuff floating around is because I really, really went for it with the harvest on this one. So you come out here at field 10. Which I've obviously clearly mowed. Because there's still grass everywhere. Stuff like this would have been fun on like FS11 and FS13 where bales really didn't want to stay. You've got all these dips and dives here, all these bumps and bumps. That's it. No, it is a river, sorry, yeah. Come down through the river, up the other side, and then you die. You just die a bit more. You die even more. You die a bit more than that, and then you come up the other side, and you got a teeny, teeny little paddock there. And then here we are. And then I've got a big pile of rocks that I need to get rid of. Is a proper, proper good one. Right, so let's do something slightly useful while we're here. Right, look at the flakes on the Merlot. He actually got further than I thought, in fairness to him. I've got much left in the tank, so it will literally just be used on what's in the tank, and then that will do. here and there but I'm not going to get too excited. Call that job done. Right, it was a delivery driver. I don't know what my uh, missus has been ordering. No idea. All right. Let's take this back. Oh, I've only got the 46 mile an hour on the real one. This one. This one won't die. And 3.1 hours in this one as well. What's your record just out of interest? I bet some people have like got some real real high hour stuff that they've you know, really stuck with. Just, I'd be curious to know that, but let me know. Is 
Yeah, I've shown you a few of my saves anyway, so if you actually want to see me carry on playing them, uh, just let me know and I'll, you know, I'll carry on playing them. If you've got any maps that you'd rather me play, you know, let me know because I've really not played many, so if you've got some better ones that you know of, as I say, I'm, I'm all ears. Actually, sell this as well and get some money back off it. Um, switch that off. In fact, let's do that. Let's go and sell, sell that because I just did did that. Let's get rid of some leased stuff. So, what's gone back in the shed? Well, that might as well go back because I'm not using that at the minute. The roller's being used, that's being used, that's not, that's not being used, that's being used, I'm using that, oops, let's go to, let's go, construction, right, so I need to find where, I plonk that warehouse. I'm sure it was over in a corner. It would be useful if I got my bearings first. But I find it. It was in a corner somewhere. I don't know why I did it. I really don't. In fact, I'm wasting my time because I'm never, ever, ever going to find it. Save. Well, I left a tractor near it, didn't I? It's here. Wherever here is. Field. Between field 16 and field 30. Next to field 25. Between field 16 and field 30. Let's do that. Field 16, field 30. Field 16, field 30. Oh, that was even easier. Ah, oh, fantastic. Look at, the, look at that. We're rolling in it now. And the reason I started doing it is because I actually started, like, ploughing this up. In fact, you can see there where I started ploughing it up. Because it's, like, wasteland on this map. But now I've got some flat concrete. Right, anyway, thank you for watching. Anyway, that's a sort of a quick tour around uh, yeah, Carlsdon Farm. If you want to, as I said, if you want to see me carry on playing, I'll carry on playing. If not, I'll find someone else. <laughs> uh, I'm really enjoying myself anyway. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, forget about the world, just for half an hour if you can. See you soon. Bye-bye.